All right, welcome back. Davis Auto Sales, Richmond, Virginia. Not bringing you any square body content today. Well, not yet. The day is young, but most will be able to appreciate this. If you like square bodies, you probably remember one of these. This is a 2001 ZR2 Off-Road S10. This was the biggest, baddest boy you could buy if you did not want to buy a full-size truck. My grandfather, which I spoke about before, he loved his square bodies, but he did end up in an S10. Never in a ZR2, but the next closest thing, it was the Baja, which was the predecessor before this one. We found a ZR2 for him, but he never really took the liking to it. So we're very familiar with these trucks. This truck came from a, actually same guy we just traded in the Suburban from. If you follow us, you've seen the Suburban. He traded in two just to get something a little more practical. I'll start it up real quick. 4.3 Vortec motor. No smoke. Nothing but just moisture from it being cold as hell in this building. Runs great. 194,000 miles. No check engine lights, no trouble codes. Cool thing with this truck. One under the seat covers no the seats are not tore up the seats are in great shape still has the factory dealer protective covering now you see a lot of dealers put this in after the fact this is the factory stuff with the factory gm floor mat over top of it now he used this truck hunting fishing whatever he wanted to use it for but he drove it he serviced and maintained it well, and it has four brand spanking new tires, 31 1050s, which were the factory size that these came with. So it was almost like a lifted S10 from the factory. He's got a little chain hanging in the front. If you watched his Suburban video, you'll know he was all about some trinkets and he's got a nice LED light bar for the front. The only thing I noticed, oh, two things. One, right here, it's got some rust bubbling in this little spot. And these trucks were notorious for that because this door didn't open. So there's a big pocket in there, but it is not a rusty truck. Look at the undercarriage. Look at the bed supports. It's got typical surface rust, but it is not a rust bucket. Most time those supports are rusted slam off. Again, it is 23 years old. It has some rust under it, but not rot. Frame's in good shape, body's in good shape, bottoms of the doors are in good shape. We run across these from time to time, but they're usually just absolutely garbage. So here was the other thing I noticed, a little door ding right here. Back door opens, most of the time the latch is broke. Door opens fine. Got your little extra gun storage area, little jump seat over there. Doesn't do you much good, a little area for your dog to jump in and out. But rocker panels are great. Saw original paint, bottoms of the doors are great. Still got the plastic underneath there. Everything is good and solid. Even the cab corner and everything on this side's good. Stereo works, four wheel drive works, heat and air works. It's a good little small truck. So if you can appreciate a small style truck, this 4.3 had plenty of power. This was the Vortec edition, which had higher horsepower in this year. See the underside on this side, clean. Inner fenders there. And only where like the paint's knocked off in certain areas, you know, see starting a little rust there, a little paint, a little undercoat will protect that. But a good solid truck. Check this one out on the website, davisautosales.com. It is up for sale, 8,900 bucks.